All right, we're here at the Iowa Power Farming Show, and we are going to demonstrate, get a demonstration here with uh, Chad Hudipole with Ag Leader Technology, who's going to show us how the hydraulic downforce works. Uh, go for it, Chad. This here would be the Ag Leader Hydraulic Downforce System. How the system works is we have a load pin down here uh, on the actual row unit, as well as a hydraulic actuator up here in replace of an airbag system or downforce strings you would have. Basically what the system is going to do, if we lose any type of a gauge rail load, or we have uh, basically uh, row units coming up out of the ground because the soil is hard, we're going to increase our downforce and it's going to basically react almost instantaneously. So on this stand, I have a hydraulic uh, pressure gauge here which is going to show uh, basically how quickly the system will react as well as on our display, you can see that as well, uh, underneath our hydraulic downforce uh, right. screen. Got it. So you can see on the display we have a gauge reel load. Right now that's showing basically the weight of the row unit itself. And as I uh, basically simulate the row unit coming out of the ground, it's going to increase the amount of downforce to push the row unit back down. Okay. So as the row units hit hard soil, they rise up. My system's already maxed out. That's as big as the pump we have on this particular demo display stand. And then once the system uh, basically gets back to an area where it's over planning because it's carrying too much weight on the gauge wheels, it's going to uh, basically lighten the load back up. So we can see we've already dumped all of our downforce pressure and uh, we're carrying basically the max amount on the, the gauge wheels, uh, or the least amount on the gauge wheels we can in this particular setup. Uh, on this particular demo stand, we have it compared to a, a, a pneumatic system is basically running it's just showing the difference in uh, reaction time between the hydraulic system and the air system. Okay. And the air system can react from basically zero to max in about one second or less, whereas the air system typically takes between 20 and 50 seconds. Um, auto, swath, or auto swath is actually utilized as well with our hydraulic system. What we've found is that uh, when you want to enter an area that's say a waterway, or an area that's already been planted, you tend to uh, want to have your row units either bouncing because you're in the end row, or they want to come out of the ground due to sod. Uh, we've incorporated the auto swap stitcher, so that will actually uh, deactivate the downforce and keep it in a hold pattern anytime you enter these areas. Okay. So that there is our display uh, that we're showing here at, at different farm shows across the country. Uh, in comparison of the two systems running side by side. And what kind of reaction are you getting from growers here? Uh, most growers are quite shocked and they uh, they really they, they, they tend to chuckle almost when they see uh, how quick it can react compared to the airbag system that many of them are already running. Um, most people, uh, the, the next question is, is how much does it cost? <laughs> All right, show us, show us again. Do the, do the comparison one more time. Uh, so again, right now, um, the systems basically are balancing out. The air system is holding about 230 pounds of ground contact. Uh, our hydraulic system is running about 184. Uh, basically, we let them react and max out. Again, right now, the hydraulic system is already maxed out. The air system has yet to respond. There, it made its first response. Uh, still trying to increase, and this will go on and on. Our system now just shot an alarm to say, hey, the planter is, does not have enough downforce. It's, it's riding up out of the ground. Uh, once that uh, unit comes back in contact where it's supposed to, to be, if you can see on the scales, uh, it was about 300 pounds when it first came down, and it's already back to the, to the 180, which is the weight of the row unit, and the air system still run about 280. So basically this whole time I've been talking, the air system is still trying to uh, catch up and dump weight, so we're over planting at this particular time. So once again, this is the hydraulic downforce from Ag Leader Technology. To find out more, Chad, what should people do? Uh, go to agleader.com and you can find out more information on the hydraulic downforce. You can also contact your local dealer or check us out on YouTube. We have uh, some more videos uh, uploaded there as well.